Hey, welcome back. Time for Move It Monday. Don't let the winter blues stop you from looking and feeling your best. With the cold weather and the rain on the way this week, it can be a challenge finding some time to get exercise in your routine. But like everything else, you can stay fit and you can do it virtually. So joining us live with some tips is Betsy Magato, a fitness coach with the Charge Running app. Good morning, Betsy. Oh, good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so I, I, a lot of people have been doing everything virtually. I know yeah. I have because it's just, you know, it's getting colder. I don't want to go to the gym necessarily. So with uh, COVID spiking again, that colder weather approaching, what are some isolated workouts that people can do? Well, 2020 is definitely the year of the pivot. And um, I must say that running is one of the best things that you can do. Running is never canceled. Um, we don't have to worry about a gym closing down or, you know, outside running being canceled. So it is always there for us. So this is a really great season um, in order to even start running. And the Charge Running app is one of those vehicles that you can use because you can uh, run inside, run on a treadmill, run outdoor and be connected to others all over the world. Awesome. Not being isolated. Okay. So yeah, walk us through how Charge works. Because I know for a lot of people, myself included, Sometimes that motivation to really just like get out and start running is so the hardest hard. thing. Yeah. Well, we have live classes all day long. So there is essentially someone waiting for you at the end of your virtual driveway. Um, you log into a class, you're running with other people. There's a live leaderboard. There's a live coach on the other end, like myself, um, who can see your stats who can see your pace, your cadence, um, your distance that you've traveled. And there's a live chat within the run where you can really connect with the community of runners that you're with. So you are running by yourself, but you are most definitely not running alone. It is a very unique and very fun running experience. Yeah, okay. So then, you know, we, we do have those days where it's just too cold, too rainy, too windy. Like there's no way, app or not, that I'm gonna go outside and run in that. So what are some tips that you have for viewers that, you know, can help them work out at home uh, as well as, you know, running outside when it's a little nicer for people like me, the fair weather runners? The fair weather runners, well, Charge is treadmill friendly, so you can run with it inside on your home treadmill. I do have to say, though, that um, there's a saying that we runners have, and it is, there is no such thing as bad weather, it's just bad gear. So I think you might be surprised that if you have just the right gear, outdoor running can actually be pretty comfortable. In fact, um, I know those uh, sometimes the winter runs are actually quite enjoyable. Gloves, some layers, um, a jacket maybe that you can tie around your waist. But, you know, hitting that treadmill is fantastic. And just staying on a, on a schedule is really important um, for the winter weather, and especially if you're stuck inside. Sure, yeah, I know. I'm moving from Florida to the Pacific Northwest. I very quickly had to learn that I needed some different running gear if I was mm -hmm. going to keep it up outside here. So other than making sure you're outfitted properly, do you have any other cold weather tips for us? Does that, does that run and that workout need to kind of look a little different? You know, it, it takes a little while to warm up. You can always warm up inside before you head outside. Um, but really, it's dressing for weather about 15 degrees warmer than what it actually is. And I think hmm. you'd be very, very surprised. As long as your hands are warm, your ears are warm, pretty much the rest of you will feel pretty comfortable on your run. One thing that I love to do is take a, a hand warmer, one of those disposable hand warmers, shake it up and put it inside my mitten. And as long as my fingers are toasty, the rest of me feels pretty good out there on a run. Layers are really important because you um, can always get, uh, you can always take one off, but it's right. really hard mm -hmm. to take one off. Put yeah. one back on. A little they have those, uh, those hand warmers on sale at Costco right now. I saw oh, big boxes go. of them. So thank you so much for joining us, Betsy. And of course, for more virtual fitness help, and download that Charge Running app. We're going to put a link on coin.com. Have a good morning. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Yeah.